This week in the news, a crash involving an MTA bus and a charter bus in Flushing left three dead and 16 injured. On Monday, a bus owned by Dahlia Tour and Travel collided with the Q20 MTA bus just after 6 a.m. at the intersection of Northern Boulevard and Main Street. Video surveillance appeared to show the bus drove quickly through a red light. An investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board discovered that the bus was traveling between 54 and 62 miles an hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. In the wake of the accident, Councilman Peter Ku and other city leaders have called for greater oversight of charter buses by the city. In other news, Community Board 7 said that the city has been delinquent in its discussions with the board regarding the future of the troubled Willits Point development. At a meeting this week with the project stakeholder, CB7 leaders said that they've been left out of the loop. I want to be very clear, said Chuck Appelane, the board's first vice chairman, we expect to be involved. The future of Willits Point has been uncertain since a June ruling by the Court of Appeals to halt development known as Willits Point, which was a mega mall that was planned for a parcel of land connected to Flushing Meadows Corona Park. And the appellate division of the state Supreme Court issued a temporary restraining order that would prevent the Brooklyn Diocese from removing Middle Village Prep from Christ the King High School, which houses the charter school. Middle Village Prep and Christ the King both filed in the motion for the restraining order. The lawsuit stems from a clause in an agreement that the diocese has with Christ King, stating that only a Catholic school can be operated on the premises. In a statement, Middle Village Prep noted that the diocese has until September 28th to file its opposition to the court's decision. And those are the top stories this week in Queens. This week's Queens Tribune News video is sponsored by Zwanger Pasira Radiology, located at 150 East Sunrise Highway, Lindenhurst.